Today we're talking about Crab Journal 11 from William Bell's Crab. Sometimes call it Chapter 11. This is the analysis video. Um, so we find that Mary and Crab, whose names are revealed in this chapter finally, or Mary's name is, um, are kind of falling into a routine, getting to know each other. Trust is being built, but we can see that it's quite precarious. So Crab accidentally goes into Mary's backpack and she freaks out. And so our suspicions that Mary is hiding something, right? Crab's already observed that she um, is obviously hiding. And he noted that she didn't say her name when when he, when he she first met him either. Um, so our suspicions are confirmed here. There's something going on with Mary. Specifically, we now know that there's something probably in this backpack, but we don't get to find out what that is in this specific journal. Um, but we do find a few other things out. So we have Crab finally letting go and he's admitting everything. We don't get to hear the story ourselves, though, um, but he tells Mary. So we have some hints of it from the start, obviously, uh, and we have a, a bunch of information. So they don't they don't rehash that for us. We also have this idea that Crab is now learning how to do things in the wilderness. So he's building up his confidence. He now knows campfires. He knows bread. He knows tea. And he's learning how to, to smoke uh, things. And he's, he's storing food for the winter. So we're seeing this... Um, learning journey of crab specifically about survival you know is making gains and obviously it's attributed to mary who's teaching him all of these things um we also find out that mary plans to stay here and that she wants crab to stay but that he is presumably not going to stay the winter um, because he's surprised that she even is going to so that seems to be beyond his plan we also know that the crab didn't really plan much out so who knows what his original thought was on when he would be going back home if ever so Again, he kind of says that the silence gets broken, the barrier is dissolved, the mistrust barrier, but he does know, you know, she still does hide the backpack though, so how much does she really trust me? Uh, and of course, Crab spills his guts, but Mary doesn't say anything. So the key ideas here is that A, like Crab knows that he's bitter. Mary identifies that as well. He says that I've got nothing to go back to, nothing and nobody, what the hell is the point? And it was a measure of her wisdom, a quality um, that I got to know as time passed that Mary did not contradict this statement where most people would have handed out advice. So this to me implies that Crab knows that he is being, you know, at least dramatic, but at most, you know, this bitterness is coming out. So I think he's aware that he obviously does have things to go back to. Very specifically, he has things to go back to. But he's, you know, he, he identifies himself as a baby a bunch of times here. He's being a whiner, a moaner, I think he calls it. Um, so he knows that he's sort of like, indulging in this self-pity which he also identifies as an escape so you're a very bitter man how can you say i'm a man when i'm sniveling like a baby and she says that's the dumbest thing you've said so by mary's estimation crab is a man and so i think that gives crab something to think about as well um and so he says you know i'm useless and she just says stop feeling sorry for yourself guilt is another form of escape now we don't know yet in this chapter why Mary is hiding, but that's going to be a very interesting statement once we find out, um, because of course we know that we know that Mary is hiding. <laughs> so she says it's important no one finds out she's here. We don't know why. Um, we don't know if she's done something wrong or if she's running away from something. You know, she's trying to be safe. We don't really know that yet. Um, but I mean, it's it's a little bit. Um, hypocritical here for her to identify that you know escape you know, escaping your problems by guilt or by booze or by self-pity uh, are all sort of implied to be negative here when we know just by the fact that Mary's hiding in the woods that she is seems to be escaping something as well. I think what's key is that Crab knows all of this. So Crab has removed himself from the situation and he's been admitting things to himself all throughout this journey, but First of all, he admits that he's an alcoholic, and that was a greater confession than it sounded. So we know that Crab has been drinking. He's thankful that he didn't get any more deep into it. But Mary can obviously see just from looking that he's an alcoholic. So I think we're getting the sense here that Crab was in much worse shape than he let on at the start. Um, you know, and we've had mention of that throughout the chapters of his withdrawal symptoms. So you know, this idea that escaping is problematic, um, but Mary maintains that it doesn't make you less of a man. It doesn't make you a baby. So maybe we're getting the acknowledgement that going through these hard times, right, specifically here, surviving in the woods, right? Like 
It's almost like enduring the difficulty and feeling the feelings is the way to solve these problems, right? To get through them, which I think is good advice. Um, and that escaping is not. So as I said, still a bit ironic that they've both escaped to the woods and run away from home. Um, but, you know, working through it. So trying not to feel self-pity and guilt. Um, Crab says after that, I felt empty and afraid because what's going to happen when all of these layers are peeled back and I'm just, you know, just bare, right? Like what's left of me? So it's a good question, right? I think this book is asking us to do some self-reflection in terms of like, you know, what really is life about, right? Crab is angry at the world, but he's realizing now that a lot of those problems are just internal. And, um, and the issue is that like, once you're actually alone with yourself, you know, what do you do? It's much easier to escape and to blame others and to pity yourself and to drink and to avoid those problems. So we are going to probably get some answers on this. Um, remember that in a novel or in, let's just say, a, a, a narrative, so a story, a fictional narrative, um, we are, the author would be setting out to teach us a lesson. In general, there's going to be some sort of lesson in everything. There's no reason to write something, right? It's usually some sort of problem. And then there's a solution. Yes, entertainment, but we're entertained by people, um, you know, seeing them grow and learn. Uh, and I think that's because it sparks something inside of us as the reader as well. Uh, and if you want to make me crazy, you can say that it's because you can relate to it. Um, I just think that's a cop out, but that's a side note. So I guess we will see based on the way the story plays out, right? We're going to look for these themes throughout. So we know that Crab's escaping. We know that escaping without a plan, you know, has not been good. We know he's assumed a lot of things that he knows more than he really does. And then he's been humbled on that. We know that he's been blaming other people and, you know, saying that he has no one and that's why he should drink. Well, he's realizing not only is drinking bad, um, you know, he was getting into it a lot further than he needed to, but also it wasn't a solution and that the real thing he's running away from is something inside of him and he's getting dangerously close to finding out what that thing is and now he's worried. So that's really the end of the chapter. I'm going to stop there and I will see you in the next video.